This morning, San Diego Unified pushing to get the COVID vaccine on the list of required vaccinations in order for all kids to attend school. It's a controversial new bill which will sidestep full FDA authorization and it's up for debate now in Sacramento. CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol live outside district headquarters in University Heights now with what families need to know about this. Good morning. Good morning to you both. A conversation and topic many parents are following. San Diego Unified has joined a statewide effort to have that COVID-19 vaccine made a requirement for the list of state inoculations. So uh, all students K through 12 will be required to get that vaccine if this bill is passed. Now it is um, uh, brought out by Senator Richard Pan. He introduced the bill that would eliminate the personal belief exemption. Now, many legal analysts say if um, this bill is passed, there still would have to be a lot to go. The courts are reaching inconsistent conclusions, and that's one of the reasons that eventually something like this will be headed to the Supreme Court. Now, the bill is called Keep the Schools Open and Safe Act. It would require all K-12 through students in California to receive the COVID vaccine regardless of FDA approval and would not allow for any personal belief exemptions. Last year, Governor Newsom did sign an executive order mandating the COVID-19 vaccine for both public and private school students, but it does allow for personal belief exemptions and has limitations since the vaccine isn't FDA approved for certain ages. Now, this bill would get rid of um, some of the things some things that districts are calling loopholes. Several districts have attempted to implement their own mandates, but there have been legal challenges. So take San Diego Unified, for example. Its vaccine mandate is now put on hold after the parent-led group Let Them Breathe took the district to court, filed a lawsuit, and a judge actually ruled in their favor. Now, in order to pass this bill, it has to go through the Assembly as well as the Senate and then the governor's signature. So if passed, the bill would go into effect January 1st of 2023. Of course, that's a year away. Um, a lot needs to happen in order for that bill to get passed. We'll continue to update you as this conversation, this topic, of course, is something that's on many parents' minds, even going into the next school year.